Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do synthetic division level two from Delta Math. We're going to divide this polynomial by this binomial. And we're going to use a shortcut called synthetic division. So the first thing is to just set up this L. We put the whatever makes this binomial equal zero, the X value. So if X were three, this binomial would equal zero. So that three goes outside the L. And then we put the coefficients of the polynomial. So coefficient, that just means the number we're multiplying each term by. So here we have X to the fourth. The coefficient of X to the fourth is actually invisible. It's one. There's an invisible one in front of X to the fourth. So we put a one. This coefficient is negative 12. This coefficient is 17. This coefficient is 24. And this constant is 22. And the rest of the process, oh, we always bring the first number down, straight down. The next part of the process is to just multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add. So we're going to multiply every number that we put down here. We're going to be multiplying by three. And then we put our answer, our product up here. So three times one is three. And negative 12 plus three is negative nine. Then we multiply three times negative nine is negative 27. And then we add 17 and negative 27, negative 10. And then we multiply three times negative 10 is negative 30. And then we add 24 plus negative 30 is negative six. And then we multiply three times negative six is negative 18. And then we add, we get four. So now this last number is always our remainder. But these are our, the coefficients of our answer. Since our highest exponent is four, our answer will start with one less. Uh, our highest exponent will be three. So our answer is one X cubed. We're not gonna write the one because it's not necessary, but we are gonna have um, X, we are gonna start with X cubed because our highest exponent is four and one less is three, okay? And then minus nine, after X cubed is X squared, we're just gonna go keep decreasing, okay? X squared. Then minus 10, after x squared is just x, and then minus six, no x variable at all. And now what do we do with this remainder? Well, since it's positive, we're gonna put a plus sign, and then we're gonna create this fraction, four out of x minus three. And that's our final answer. The remainder is always over the binomial that you're dividing by. So that's my answer, everybody. That four came from our remainder and the X minus three came from that binomial. Oh, let's do another one. Uh, where's my eraser? There we go. So 
So this is going to be called example two. So let's divide 3x to the fourth minus 21x cubed minus 27x squared plus 20x plus 23. Let's divide that by x minus 8. So how about you set that up? Right, make your L. And what do you think goes out here? Well, what will make this x minus 8 equal 0 if x were 8? If x were 8, this will be 8 minus 8, and 8 minus 8 is 0. So we're going to put a positive 8 out here. Do you notice it's just the opposite sign? Here we have a minus 8, so we put a positive 8. And what do we put here? All of our coefficients. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five numbers are going to go here. First number is 3. Then negative 21. Then negative 27. Then positive 20. And then positive 23. Right? Do you remember what's next? Bring down the first number. And then we're going to start the process of multiplying, then add. Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add. Multiply, then add. All right? And then add. So it was 8 times 3? 24. I'm going to write with black. Multiply. 24. And then add. Was 21 plus, sorry, negative 21 plus 24 is 3. Let me multiply. We're going to get 8 times 3, which is 24. And then we add negative 27 plus 24 is negative 3. Multiply 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. 20 minus 24 is negative 4. And then we multiply 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. And then we add 23 minus 32 is negative 9. So this last number, that's our remainder. And these are going to be the coefficients of our answer. So let's write the answer. Our first term is x to the, has an exponent of 4. So our first term in the answer will have an exponent of 3. So here's the coefficient. 3x cubed plus 3x squared, right? We're just going down minus 3x minus 4, right? That's that part. Now, what do we do with this remainder? Since it's negative, we're going to put minus 9 over, and we put our binomial, x minus 8. So this is just a little fraction at the end of our polynomial, okay? That means x minus 8 is not a factor of this polynomial. That's why we get this remainder, okay? So this 9, this minus 9, it came from the remainder. And this x minus 8, it came from the binomial that we divided by, okay? So this whole thing, that's our answer. All right, I hope this helped.